Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and today we are checking out the Pop ID case from Casemate for the iPhone 5. So, well, not really a whole lot to skip ahead through, but hey, I'll stretch it out. Let's skip ahead to the good part. All right, so we have the Pop ID case here from Casemate. The whole purpose of this is to be able to put a couple cards in here and uh, minimize your things that you got to carry around and keeping them all in one spot. Now, there's good to that and there's bad. So before we get into that, let me show you guys how this fits on the phone right here. Obviously, button sides first all the time. Slide that in and you pop it in. Now, I do have my glass TR on here still, even though it is a little bit scratched. It's still a kick-ass screen shield. And uh, the design of this uh, case here does allow for some lay on the table, but at the same time, the screen shield is not affected at all because it does not come up over the phone as opposed to just sitting next to it and a little bit higher. But you get great lay on the table on this, as you can see. Would be even more without the glass TR on here, obviously, but you have uh, dual protection on there, in my opinion. Taking a look around the case here, your bottom is completely opened, which has its advantages. I often enjoy having only your lightning port and your headphone uh, port opened up, but uh, you know what? Uh, this does give you a little bit more room if you have third-party adapters, uh, which we'll be seeing shortly that might be a little larger. And of course, you know, you always have issues with headphone jacks uh, and the case is being just a little bit too small to fit your style of headphone that you like. Coming around the side here, you have a nice grip, and uh, this is a theme around the entire case. Your volume buttons are covered, but it gives good feedback on there, no problems whatsoever on that. Your vibrate switch is a little bit tough to get to. I did notice trying it out. It is a little deep in there, and I don't have the fattest of fingers either, so if you got some fat fingers, you might have a problem there. Coming around the top of the device, you have your sleep and awake button, much like the volume buttons, no problem at all. And uh, around the dead side here, where there is uh, no buttons, no anything, you have the nice grippy, feely thingy here, which uh, definitely is nice uh, touch added to the case. And uh, that obviously follows around the top of the case to give you that protection. Taking a look at the back of the case, you have your camera cut out, which I think is always too big as usual. But to the main event of this, we have the place to hold, I believe it's up to two cards, depending on what you have. If the card is not as thick, you might be able to get three in there. But, uh... What you basically do is you take your card here, you slide it down in, and uh, you see at the bottom there it kind of shows as it gets down there because it's open, and you take your second card and you can slide that in there. Now when it's time to take your card out, you simply just push up with your thumb, and then you can take the card out. Now, I think this is neat if it's something that you're going to be going out for. I don't necessarily think it's something that I would ever use. Um, keeping everything in one spot in my opinion, can be a problem. I mean, people tend to lose their phones, and I think it would just be a, a pain in the butt to do that. But you may think differently. One other thing uh, that is uh, very important to, to take a look at, when you have the phone out of the case here, and I'm going to show this to you guys real quick, everything is open, so when you slide your cards in, it's open as well. If you take your, say, your debit card, uh, it may have raised lettering on it, and you slide that in there like so, you're sliding that in with those uh, raised letters against the back of your device. And we all know that the phone isn't exactly the toughest of uh, uh, material on there, so you might have an issue just a heads up. This case retails for $40 on their website. Honestly, I don't see $40 value in this. Um, maybe you do. This case is also available through Amazon for $32. They have a ton of colors. And if you want to help support the site and it's something that you like, you can click that link down below and shop through my Amazon uh, link. And uh, again, help support the site. I don't think this case is worth $40. I don't think this case is worth $32. I just don't think this case is worth it in my opinion. Um, sorry, it's just not my style. Maybe it's yours and maybe it would work out for you, but definitely not for me. Alright guys, so uh, that's a quick peek at that and um, I've got lots more coming up. You guys stick around and uh, thank you very, very much for all this continued support. And I'm going to do that giveaway soon. I just got to get together and figure out what, uh, what prize we're going to do, or I should say contest. And uh, get knee deep in that and uh, get it going. So guys, 
that is it for me. You all have a great rest of the weekend, and I will talk to you later. See ya!